Welcome to another travel video. It's been a while since I made one of these. This time we are going to Krabi, Thailand from Kuala Lumpur. It is both our first time in Krabi and we cannot wait to explore this part of Thailand, experience the beaches of the Phi Islands and try out everything else Krabi has to offer. Hello and welcome to our first trip of the year. We arrived at KLIA2 for our flight to Thailand. The check-in process was a bit chaotic, but immigration went smoothly. Since AirAsia offers direct flights to Krabi, it was very convenient for us. The flight lasted for one hour, arriving a few minutes earlier than scheduled. And just like that, we arrive in Krabi. After clearing immigration and collecting our baggage, we boarded a van from Krabi Airport to Auna. This is where we would be staying for the entirety of our trip. So this is our hotel, it's just located a couple meters from the beach and you know it's ideal location, it's just walking distance of Aonang's happening places. It's really beautiful and it suited us perfectly. The price is ranging from 500 to 600 ringgit but if you booked earlier it could be cheaper. So the room was clean and spacious and it has a king size bed, a balcony and a bathtub. First order of business is enjoying a late lunch at the hotel's restaurant where I had a tom yum soup and my husband went for Penang curry and both were exactly what we needed at that time after our flight from KL. After having our food, we headed out to the beach for sunset. I think we walked about 10 to 15 minutes to get to the beach and the weather was really perfect for the occasion and the sunset was breathtaking. There were so many tourists on the beach also watching the sunset and I think some of them just uh, came back from island hopping or exploring the other beaches in the area. But yeah, Aonang, I'd say, has one of the best sunsets I've ever seen. And you know, as someone coming from the Philippines, that is a big deal. <laughs> because we do have a lot of nice sunsets. Yeah, even though it appeared chaotic with so many people, there was a certain calmness where everyone was experiencing this beautiful sunset together and you know, it was really perfect. We walked for about 20 to 30 minutes from Aonang Beach to the night market. There were a lot of shops in, you know, the night market itself. They had food stalls and clothing and crafts, but we spent most of our time at the food stalls. And heading back, I was so exhausted that I insisted that we take a tuk-tuk and we found one outside the night market. The fare back to our hotel was around 150 baht. Mm -hmm. 
Today we're setting off for an island hopping adventure around the PP Islands and the surrounding beaches. This marks my first experience of island hopping in Thailand. Even, you know, I enjoyed a lot of island hopping back in the Philippines, so I can't wait to see what they have to offer. So we booked a tour through Kluk for just over 300 ringgit per person. Our van picked us up early at around 6.15 a.m. and by 6.30, we were already at the pier. I can't recall which time or the exact time we departed, but our first stop was Koh Poda or Poda Island, which is 15 minutes away, I think, from the pier. They even arranged our breakfast there, which was really convenient. Uh, the tour covered all the meals, water, and even snorkeling gear, which was a very good deal. Our next destination was Maya Bay. It was about 45 minutes from Pod Island. And along the way, we passed by this place called Chicken Island, which was named for its like chicken head rock formation. And it's a site that really stands out. The dock located behind the bay requires a bit of a walk to reach the beach itself. During the monsoon season, access can be restricted due to high waves, sometimes reaching two meters, making boat docking challenging. An additional 400 baht is required for foreigners because it's a national park and it's not covered by the tour. The trail leads visitors to the bay where strict regulations are in place due to past over tourism issues. So we are here chilling in Maya Bay. This is the infamous Maya Bay from that movie. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty nice actually. And there's so many tourists as expected. So we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Just 10 to 15 minutes from Maya Bay, we headed off to Pile Bay, which is my personal favorite. It's still located on Pipile Island. It's a secluded lagoon surrounded by limestone cliffs and is only accessible by boat. I really love it. It's straight out of Lord of the Rings for me. And you know, I wanna live there. <laughs> they dropped us off here and gave us 25 minutes to chill and take a swim. I really loved the waters, it was really calm and cold, it was very relaxing, so yeah, that was, that was amazing. Heading off to Ko Pipi Don for lunch, I think this is a part of the island where you can stay overnight because most of the civilization is here, like hotels and restaurants. Our tour dropped us off here for lunch. I wasn't able to take a video of that because I was very hungry, but you know, we had time to chill. I bought coffee from this nice coffee shop and we hung out by the beach chairs. You can actually rent them for a hundred baht per person. Fresh from lunch, we headed off to Bamboo Island, which quickly became another personal favorite. The island is very straightforward. It was giving naked island vibes of Shargao. And you know, we were dropped off at the shore to chill and just snorkel. There were a few coral areas to check out and I'm actually surprised that the fish was not scared of people. They actually approach you and then go away. So <laughs> we spent the hour just by chilling at the shore or taking a dip in the water. 
What I really like about the beach here in Thailand is despite how warm the weather can get, the water remains constantly cold. It wasn't ice cold but you know it's really refreshing and it's a respite from the heat of the sun. On to our last stop. So we docked at this island called Kotap. This area is part of the Thale Wake. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but from my understanding, it's like a sandbar appearing during low tide and connecting three islands. Uh, unfortunately, when we got there, it was high tide, so we didn't see this phenomenon happening, but still, it was a beautiful place. Okay, so the the whole island uh, island hopping trip lasted for I don't know eight hours. Wait, six a.m. to like four p.m. and they brought us to the pier, and then they also um, got us on a van to go back to our own hotel. So they have a pick up and drop off inclusion to their tour package so i think it was affordable i think it's definitely it's it's definitely a good deal because you you don't have to spend on anything you like everything is paid for like the food the water they have a lot of water <laughs> to give and then yeah basically that's it after that, we grabbed the dinner at Reeve Beach Club. It's located right at Aonang Beach. And right when we were about to get a table, they had a fire dance. I think it happens every night, if I'm not mistaken. Their food was a bit pricier than other places we've tried, but it was worth it. The fish was really, really fresh. After dinner, we took the opportunity to buy souvenirs from shops along the road. We also grabbed a roti pancake and a shake before heading back. We started the day slowly because yesterday was packed with activities. We headed to Cafe 8.98, which was one of the cafes with good reviews on Google Maps. We had a simple breakfast with granola, coffee, and some pork belly. Ciao. We love pork. Rally Beach is just a 10 minute ride from Aonang Beach by Long Tail Boat. The fare is 100 baht per person and the ride is quite similar to getting on a bangka in the Philippines. There are many food shops around the beach as well as a couple of resorts if you're interested in staying overnight. We had a late lunch at this place and the food was really good. I had banana curry and the rice was shaped like a heart. You can enjoy kayaking and paddle boarding here, but we didn't try it out. I think personally I was a bit intoxicated, so I just didn't do anything. I just took a swim at the beach. The sand was fine, but there were a lot of like occasional rocks and it sometimes like hits you out of nowhere. So it was very uncomfortable. And the rest of the day, we just decided to chill and nap and get some sun.
so it's our last day in Krabi. <laughs> we are going to the beach for one last, I don't know, one last tambay and then we are also looking for coffee and just order them takeaway so we can just chill at the beach. We spent an early morning at Aonang Beach. Uh, it was very calm and peaceful. We enjoyed chilling there before heading out for breakfast at the beachside bistro. They had really good food, it was all like handmade, we had toast and coffee, there was also a coffee shop called Sun Coffee Bar, we grabbed them to go before walking back to our hotel. It's now time for our flight back home, we booked a grab from our hotel to the airport. The ride cost around 600 baht and the airport was 30 minutes from Aonang Beach. We chose to get grabbed this time for comfort because when we came here we were in a van ride and it was very packed. So we just want to chill. We are, we are in the middle of Krabi. Our grab driver is filling up his tank and we are on our way to the airport. So the airport process went very smoothly. After check-in and immigration, we grabbed some souvenirs and food, and that's a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was very stressful, but I'm constantly working on improving my content creation and storytelling skills, so I hope it made a difference. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you so much. Till the next video. Adios. Bye. Sayonara. Bye. I know sometimes life can be tough. And you feel like you just had enough. You're thinking